narrator voice. Squeak, squeak, squeak. It's time to be psychologically analyzed. Continue. Hello, and welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. Oh, he sounds, he looks much more melancholy. Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time with blibber blabber and nonsensical speak. So I'll just get straight to the point. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. There's one question in particular I'd like for you to ask yourself. I'm guessing it. Who are you? Oh, are you happy? And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but it's not the same as being happy. I want to help you. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. It's kind of weird how this is like supposed to be uplifting, but at the same time the text is like, you know, like kind of like, Friday the 13th or something. I want to see you grow inside and out. Now, how do we accomplish this, you might be asking. Good question. Allow me to explain. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and you are going to answer them with 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. You do want to be happy, don't you? You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lend the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes good people do bad things. And sometimes we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express this enough just how important it is to be truly honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now, it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It's time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstances and build your own bridges to arrive at the answer that best suits your own psyche. If you've never experienced the scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you would have to try and assume how you might feel in that situation. I'd like to invite you to pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secret to overcoming the next hurdle in your life. We're going to start with some basic easy questions. And here we go. 
if your answers, if you answer these questions twice, your advice may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about many different variables. Many different factors are at play here, including the amount of time taken to answer proposed questions. With that being said, it's far more important to actually take your time and think about how honest of an answer you're giving before you give it. Whatever you do, do not rush the process. Time is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Do you feel uncomfortable? Not comfortable. Are you nervous? No. Well, may no. Do you feel cold? No. Do you feel sad? Eh. I feel complacent. Not sad. Yeah, maybe a little sad. I've had a rough week. Yeah. I feel a little sad. I haven't really been able to do the things that I wanted to do. Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting, even though they didn't deserve it? Yeah, I've done that. Do you crave acceptance by others? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Have you ever lost a loved one? Mm, no. Do you know what heartbreak feels like? Yeah. It's that sensation that well, yeah, I do. Like, it's like just like in, you're just in fucking denial. You're just in denial. Do I believe in demons? No. Hmm. Do you believe in curses? No. Would you consider yourself to be spiritual? Yeah. Are you afraid of dying alone? Yeah, I am afraid of dying alone. That's the way we all go. If there was undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your home? Yeah. Have you ever seen an object mysteriously move without being touched? No. I don't think I've seen that. Do you believe that it's possible for a game to summon supernatural forces into your life without knowing it? I think uh, it's possible for a game to expose you, not to supernatural, well, supernatural, I guess that would be it, like the unconscious direction, you know, because like Halo, so many things have influenced me from video games, so yeah, I do think so. I would like to make more friends, I, I, I really would. Would I consider myself to be a good friend? Uh, no. Maybe. No, I don't fucking know. I don't, okay.
I don't know. Would I consider myself to be a good friend? I don't, I don't know. No. Do you feel lonely? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Talk to me. Yeah. But it's kind of contrary because I want to make more friends. I said, talk to me. That kind of spooked me. You tend to avoid drama where possible, always. Have you ever had a near-death experience? In my certain it's like my circumstances, my situation, yeah. Do you like horror movies? Yeah, they're good. Have you played the test? Yes. That's the spirit. Have you played the horoscope? Yeah. What a gangster. Do you watch porn? Shamefully. Would you consider yourself to be a hard worker? No. No, I wouldn't. Do I have a low opinion of myself? Yeah, I think I do. Nope. Not at all. I can't even stand up for myself. I just kind of bitch to my... The people close to me and uh, yeah not really confident help an old lady cross the street even if you are running late for an appointment no I probably it would depend like if, if it was well let's say this if it if it was very visible that she needed help yeah I'd probably do that but if it's you know and this is a situation I've usually encountered you know, oh, well, someone dropped their, a couple of coins or something, and you're standing in line, you know. Like, if they're not, if they're closer to the her than you, like, unless if it's an insurmountable amount of coins, then no. But, yeah, like, if, if it was visible, and that's my situation. Would you kill all of your neighbor's pets just to save one of your own? Yeah, yeah, I would. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to, s to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? This is dark, man. Uh, I don't think I've done that before. I've screamed into a pillow before. Have you ever been caught dancing when you thought no one was watching? No, I don't think so. Have you ever tried to roll your eyes back so far? Just to see if they'd really get stuck. No? Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? Yeah. Am I streaming live right now? Yeah. Well, hello there, audience. <laughs> Say hi. Are you recording this gameplay session? Uh, I mean, that's kind of... What the fuck? Yo. Bro, like, the thing that's weird... I didn't... Like, OBS is up, but I don't remember hitting record but it's been it's been recording for 53 minutes yeah i'm recording oh my gosh mm. if you're watching me play this game right now would you believe me uh yeah if you've left a comment for me at any point in time i've read your words does this bother you no
if you've left a comment for me, does it make you feel positive that I paid attention to what you've taken the time to write? Yes. You understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? You appreciate me? No. I, I, I don't... No, I don't understand that. You really do. Are you my afraid of snakes? Yep. Do you believe in magic? Mm. I believe in synchronicity, which I wouldn't necessarily call magic. Wait a second. Yeah, I've cried in the last month. Do you have a hero? Do I have a hero? I don't know. Someone I just want to be just like. Yeah, I do. I do have a hero. Do I typically learn from my mistakes? No, I make the same damn ones every fucking time. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Not really. I would consider myself to be lazy. Yep. Do you sometimes find it difficult to stay motivated? Yeah. Do you put the needs of others before yourself? Uh, I mean, I'd like to think that I do, but I kind of don't. Would your family and friends describe you as kind? Yeah. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? No. I have not done that. Have I ever been cheated on in a relationship? No. Would you consider yourself to be judgmental? No. I think, uh... Well, no, I don't think so. Oh, shit. But the thing is, is like, I'm judging myself so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Am I a hero to someone else? No. <laughs> Why would I be a hero to someone else? I'd like to be. Do I love animals? Yeah. I'm not like insane about them, but yeah, I do love animals. Have you ever found a family member on Tinder, Tinder and wanted to hit them with a su super like just to make that make shit real awkward? No, I've never used Tinder. Yeah, uh, me neither. <laughs> you enjoy drinking alcohol? Uh, yes and no. But we'll say, uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. Am I intoxicated right now? No. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> Do you like the phrase sneaky snake? I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah, they're fucking strange. Do you have a vivid imagination? Yeah, I daydream a lot. Do I feel uncomfortable in large social settings? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, I do. Antisocial? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Do I hold a grudge for long periods of time? No. 
Have I ever urinated in public? No. Do you like pineapple? And no. Yes, I would consider myself to be selfish. I think I do have a big ego. Would you consider yourself kinky? Uh, yeah, I'd say that too. Masturbate it into a fish bowl. What the hell is this question? No, no, I haven't done that. Oh. Yeah, I'm not that kinky. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm religious. Would you consider yourself to be temperamental? Uh, I don't know. And the reason I don't know... Oh, yeah. I didn't know the definition. If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it, would you do it? Probably not. Would I sacrifice my own life for a complete stranger? Probably not. Even more interesting. Have you ever been inside of a burning building? No. Have you ever been to a funeral? Yes. If you could attend your own funeral before you died, would you take the opportunity to do so? Yeah. If you could see into the future, but you were told that it would only reveal the absolute worst of what's in store for you, would you still look? No. If you had the power to stop time, would you use it to do something you know you shouldn't do? No. I'd probably use it to meditate. <laughs> to remove one person from Earth, never to return again. Would you use it? No. I need everyone else. If I understand you better than you understand yourself, would you believe me? Uh... Yeah. If someone threatened to kill you, would you first respond? Wait a second. Okay, well, the situation I had in my head for that, they understand me better, is that, like, what I'm talking to right now, the, you know, the questions and responses are like a reflection of my own inner psyche, like my own, my own unconscious I'm responding to. Because my knee-jerk reaction is to what is being brought to me through response. And so... I'm thinking, you know, like who I'm talking to is myself, my unconscious, and I think that that knows me better than I know me. If someone threatened to kill you, would you first re would your first response be to react in violence? No, because, uh, well, mm, no, because I feel like that's, Stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction. Would you forgive them if they apologized to you? No. Yeah. No. I'd be mad. I'd be pissed family member said something nasty about you behind your back, would you confront them about it directly? I mean, I kind of did. If you had to eat raw squirrel brains for three days to stay alive, would you do it? Yeah, I could probably stomach that. If you woke up tomorrow and none of your family remembered who you were, would you choose to leave and start a new life? That's a fucking deep one. Yeah. If they didn't know. If they didn't know me. 
I don't know. I think I'd be too attached to it. If a homeless man was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable in the rain, would you be willing to give him your clothes and walk home naked? Yeah. Hit you in their hit you in their car, but you suffer no injuries whatsoever. Would you still be upset with them? Yeah, I would be upset. Have you ever looked for any hitting meetings? No, I, I, I keep forgetting. Have you ever looked for any hidden meanings or messages within these questions? It said something about answering the same question twice. Wait a second. Hidden meaning, I just kind of explained a hidden meaning. Yeah. Miracles happen every day. Umbrellas aren't worth lugging around and you don't mind getting rained on. Do you agree? I agree. Red is prettier color than pink. Do you agree? I agree. Do you feel like a plastic... Do you ever feel like a plastic bag blowing in the wind? Yep. Eating in front of people can be awkward. Do you agree? Yeah. Rings used as ceremonial wedding gifts are so outdated. Do you agree? Do you agree? No. Do you realize that the first letter of the last six questions when considered, when combined, spell out the word murder? No, I did not realize that. Why do I need to look at the first letter? Do you know why that is? Because of the first six letters? No. Yeah, it made me a little uncomfortable. Probably not. I'm here. No. Oh my god, power suggestion. Shadows closing in. Am I supposed to pay attention to the graphic? Is that supposed to be my room? Yeah, I do feel like I'm being watched. I did. I did look in a ground. You like long walks on the beach? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. You love your family more than you love yourself. No. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? Yeah. You think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? I mean, I don't know, but I'm going. I'm going to say no. I don't think too deeply. Too deeply. Do you believe that you're human? Yeah. If you could turn invisible, but you could never be visible ever again. Once you decided to use the power for the first time, would you ever use it? No. If you knew someone was about to rob a convenience store, but you knew that they were doing it to feed their family, would you stop them? As long as the situation, as long as no one got hurt, I would not stop them. Would I share with them? Yeah. I would share with them. If you could turn into an eagle for a year, but you wouldn't be able to turn back into a person until that year had passed, would you do it? 
No, fucking being an eagle was rough, bro. Maybe not. Pick up fucking does and shit. Be vicious. Get all that pent up energy out. If you had the opportunity to earn riches beyond your wildest dreams by fighting a grizzly bear to the death using nothing but a machete and an army helmet. No, I would lose that fight. Pick one basic food item to eat exclusively for an entire year. Pizza screamed in agony every time you bit into a piece. Would you still eat pizza? No. That would freak me out. What the fuck? Would you do it to save them? As long as we never fucking talked about it again. Probably. Yeah, that's a fucking difficult question. Do you feel mortal? I used to, but my ears are just like getting more and more sensitive. Like it starts to hurt my ears. Do you feel awkward when you dance in front of others? Yes, I do. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? Yeah, the I'm not approved order. Do you ever feel depressed? Yeah. You're not alone. Do you feel relaxed? Yeah, sur surprisingly. You think you have a guardian angel watching over you? I don't think that. Do you ever hear your name being called when no one could have called it? Yeah. I'm going to take a special note of that one. Do you always lock both ways, look both ways before crossing the road? Yes. Do you wash your hands every day? Of course. Do you feel uncomfortable using public restrooms? Yes, I do. Is winter your favorite season? Yes, it is. Do you know anyone named Josh? Yeah. No. Do any animals? No. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? No. Not until I met Jerry. Have you ever been in love? Mm, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be artistic? I very much would. Would you consider yourself to be dominant in day-to-day -day life? No. I feel like I've got too little time. Yes, I can be easily intimidated. Are you easily excitable? No. I do enjoy solving complex problems. You have a difficult time relaxing. Yeah. But for some reason, I'm kind of chill right now. Would you consider yourself to be high maintenance? No. Do you trust easily? I do, actually. Would you consider yourself to be an honest person? Eh. No. If I were told a lie? Yeah. If I ever lied to my best friend? Yeah. Have you ever lied to your family? Yeah. Have you lied about any answers during this session? I mean... No, I don't think so. Oh, well, yeah. No. Yeah. Are you a people pleaser? Yeah. I 
I do enjoy being the center of attention. I feel like you got a good sense of humor. I feel like I do, yeah. Do you frighten easily? No, not really. I scare myself more than others do. <sighs> Man, it's so relaxed. <laughs> What the fuck? Am I supposed to move? That was odd. <laughs> I wonder what that was about. It's probably a good, pretty good place for us to stop the simple quest segment of our questionnaire to move on to the more gritty questions. This next set of questions will not be yes or no answers, but the next portion of our session will be filled with various scenarios that put you smack dab in the middle of the vital choice making. We'll see how well you handle your options as you delve deep into each scenario. Remember, the key to this is, it, is to answer honestly. Let's get started. You're home alone. It's dark and it's stormy outside. All of the sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door. Someone's in your house. What do you do? I'm trying to put myself in that situation. So I'm laying down, right, in the bed. I'd probably ask. You meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find it within yourself to give her all the spare change you have. Just as you do, a homeless man approaches you asking if you can spare some change. What do you do? I gave her all of it. I would tell him I have nothing left. Both my mother and father fall incredibly ill to a life-threatening disease, and there's only enough medicine and facilities to save one of your patients in times of the essence. What do you do? I'd split it. Even though both may die. It doesn't surprise you. You find a case of money tucked away inside of a dumpster. Inside, there's ten solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under uh, the vial, there's a note that says the cure for cancer. What do you do? probably keep the gold bars but give away the cure to cancer a wasted opportunity in my scenario it's like giving it to the right people you're stuck alone inside of your house and you're starving to death you've completely run out of food and no one is coming to save you for weeks the only potential source of food around you is your family pets. What do you do? I'd continue to starve. Why am I not surprised? Your neighbor's home is on fire. A blazing inferno among smoke emits from the windows. You hear screams for help from coming within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is around in sight. I'd call the fire department. You like that? Oh, okay. 
You're fast asleep in your bed when you're awoken by what sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from under the bed. What do you do? I immediately look under the bed. Hmm. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you. He claims that when the watch stops ticking, it marks the moment of time, the moment your time runs out on this earth. What do you do? I would decline it and keep walking. Yeah. You're sitting at home playing a game on your PC when all of a sudden someone grips and squeezes your shoulder firmly from behind. I'd probably scream. God damn it. Fucking power suggestion. I'd probably... Yeah, I'd probably jump up. You're still sitting in the bathtub trying to relax. When a hand emerges from the water, what do you do? Jump out of the bath and run as fast as I can. <laughs> oh my god. Those answers. You get out of bed immediately, fall down into a deep, dark hole. A man is standing above you, looking down, telling you to put lotion on your skin while he watches. What do you do? I'd probably scream. You're sitting at home alone, and all of a sudden your door slams shut. You see it before your very eyes and you know that no one else is home and it couldn't have been a gust of wind. What do you do? I'd probably run over to the door and check it. You don't like that. Someone you've known for many years, but have no attraction to, tells you that they've had a massive crush on you for a long time. What do you do? Tell them you're flattered, but just not interested. Tell them that you feel dating might ruin your friendship. Yeah, I'm one of those types. Your dog starts randomly barking into the darkest corner of your living room. There doesn't appear to be anything that there, but your dog insists on escalating to growls. What do you do? I would check to see what the fuck's going on. <sighs> yeah, I'd stand there and look at it. Man, I didn't get enough sleep last night. You see a massive spider in your room the size of your hand. I'm going to grab something bigger and smash it. Yeah. Your closest family member tells you that they're a serial killer. What do you do? don't want to know anything else. If you found out that you only had one day left to live, what would you do? I would tell them all to be happy. If one of your pets started speaking to you and told you they've got a dire warning that they were going to die if you didn't let them eat all of the ice cream in the freezer, what would you do? I mean, if the dog started speaking to me...
Yeah, probably, probably that. <laughs> the person next to you was thinking about mugging you and stealing your money. What would you do? I would get away from them. Sounds reasonable. Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they just accidentally killed someone and they don't want to go to prison. What do you do? I'd report them to authorities. Yeah. You're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over. You're pretty sure they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly detached from their body suggests that it's probably just wishful, think wishful thinking. What do you do? <laughs> Call your best friend and tell him that you don't want to go to prison. I would turn. I'm watching you. Okay. I would turn myself in. Interesting how that played out. I think it's time we move on to the next portion of our test. This one's much longer. Oh my word. Would you rather, oh my gosh, imagine you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. Okay. No matter how uncomfortable that may be, let's get started, shall we? Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? Loved by all. Would you rather never get angry or never get jealous? never get angry would you rather be held in high regard by your par parents or by your friends my friends oh shit yeah my parents fuck Probably them. Would you rather live in space or live under the sea? Uh, in space. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate your organs to people who need them? To people who need them. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? I'd go to jail for five years. Would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in 10 years from now? Or would you rather have your dream job but have to work until the day you died? I'd rather have my dream job. Would you rather every shirt you'll ever wear to be somewhat itchy or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? One ply toilet paper. Would you rather have skin that changes color depending on your mood or have tattoos appearing on your body that depict what you did yesterday? Color changing skin. Would you rather shit every time you orgasm or orgasm every time you see a dog? I'll take orgasm shits for 5,000 hours. What the fuck? I'd rather, uh, do that one. <laughs> if your partner switched bodies with one of your patients and the only way to get them back was to have sex with one of them, would you rather have sex with your partner in your parent parent's body or have sex with your parent in your partner's body? No, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. What the fuck type of question? Kyle asked this question. What the hell? It would just be discussed, but I like it'd be with my partner. No, goddamn. Oh my god. You fucking motherfucker. Okay. And the test for short series of final questions, giving simple answers. We'll get started now. 
Out of the following options, which number do you like the most? I like 11. Out of the following options, which color makes you feel the most relaxed? Out of the following options, which creature are you least comfortable to be around? Uh, this one would probably be worse. Which flavor is my favorite? Following options, which do you personally value the most? Freedom. Following options, which could you most live without? Of all the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I'm smart. I am caring, I am attractive, I am brave. I don't know, it's between these two. Caring, smart. I'm probably just more of that. Out of the following options, which are you most afraid of? Are you happy? Did I ever punch a nun? No. Really take the edge off. He's done with me. I'm just going to calculate your results very carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. Oh my gosh. I'm trying my absolute hardest not to judge you right now. I'm trying to keep this as professional as possible. Ah, ha. Here we go. Based on what you've told me, I come to a conclusion. This is what I personally believe would be in your best interest to acknowledge, set in motion, accomplish, and in order to climb the ladder to happiness in your life. First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Okay? Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that is... Such an incredible, unique, irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth is you, my friends, is the value of time. Oh, okay. Time is the most valuable form of currency you will ever hold in life. You can spend time on anyone doing anything for any reason. Now time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded. Time can never be earned back. And more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account with all the money you'll ever get to spend in life. Now imagine not knowing how much money is in your account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need. And the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you cannot afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time and we have no idea just how much or how little we truly have before our bank account runs dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on just shows you how truly special it is when someone spends their time on you. So now that we understand the incredible value of time, 
I'd like to make a suggestion for you personally on how I think you'd be best spending your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage in your life. Let's see here. I can tell that you're very often misunderstood. Even those closest to you don't give you a lot of respect that you deserve, which is honestly really unfortunate. I think the main issue really lies in communicating with those around you in an effective way. One thing I'd highly recommend for yourself, for you to do is to attempt to build a bridge with those who doubt you. Instead of wondering why they don't understand you, try to put yourself in their shoes and think from their perspective. Once you're able to understand things from their point of view, you can begin to communicate in a way that will help them understand just how truly special you are. I think it would be a very good investment of your time to keep to focus on putting yourself in other people's shoes a lot more often before writing them off completely. If you can master this little piece of advice and apply it to your everyday life, you'll have the world at your fingertips. My advice to you is to take a deep breath before responding to someone who attempts to speak to you and take that moment to analyze what you're going to say before you let words leave your mouth. I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can have on your life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is understanding. Remember the word. This will come in handy. Oof. for you to be a part of history be sure to know your secret word in comments if you do not wish to be a part of an upcoming project simply leave your secret simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name we appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always read them thoroughly thank you for taking the time to ask these questions it will all make sense very soon trust me on that one more thing we greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We've read every single review and comment left for us. We love the conspiracy theories behind the greater meaning of all of this. And in the third and final, final installment, we all will be finally be revealed. But not a single person has been able to figure out what this entire experiment is all about yet. We look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings as it helps share what we do as we work on future projects. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for everything secret words to our projects. Well. Oh my. That was...